In this video, let's look at this interesting concept of self rack. Okay, rack stands for retrieval augmented generation. So, how does retrieval augmented generation generally work? Here you have a prompt. Okay, for example, like how did US states get their names? And in the step one, there will be a retriever which will retrieve K documents. Okay. Then you will prompt a language model in step two with K docs. Okay, the top K docs and generate your response. Okay. So how did the US states get their names in the prompt plus these top K documents? And based on that, your language model will generate a response. Now this response could have contradictory information. Okay. It could have some information which was not present in passages and so on. Okay. So that is where you have a disadvantage of your current retrieval augmented generation. Okay. It could indiscriminately retrieve and incorporate a fixed number of retrieved passages regardless whether retrieval is necessary. Passages are relevant. Okay. Thereby you have factual inaccuracies of these versatile large language models. Okay. So your LLMs have factual inaccuracies. Okay. Even if you do retrieval based augmented generation, you could still have, you know, unhelpful responses. Okay. So this is where there is this new framework called self reflective retrieval augmented generation. Okay. So what happens over here is that the difference between rag and self rag is that okay there is this prompt okay how did us states get their names so the step one is retrieve on demand so when that information is given to the language model it uh, checks if retrieval is required okay so it generates some text like this us states got their names from a variety of resources and then it generates a retrieve token now when this retrieve token is generated, what happens is that parallel, uh, you know, segment generation is done. Okay. So basically retrieval is done. Okay. And you have these K uh, documents or passages which have been retrieved, right? Parallelly with the prompt, these are given and response segments are generated. Okay. Now when these response segments are generated, you have, uh, you know, some of these are relevant, supported. Okay. Some of this could be irrelevant, this content. Okay. Some of them are relevant and partially relevant, right? Now, there is a critique of this particular segments, which uh, critiques these outputs and selects the best segment over here. Okay. That is the idea over here. See if you hear. Uh, over here in retrieval augmented generation, you give all these passages which have been retrieved or documents which have been re retrieved with the prompt. What happens over here is that parallelly you have these retrieved passages given with the prompt, okay, in a parallel fashion, and output is generated or segments are generated. Then a critique says which is the best segment over here, okay. That is the idea over here, okay. Sometimes it may not even generate this retrieval uh, token. It will gen directly get the output. Okay. Sometimes it will do it. Sometimes it will repeat this process. Okay. That is the idea over here by which they are improving the accuracy of extracted responses. Okay. Not extracted responses, generated responses. Okay. That is the key idea behind self-reflective retrieval augmented generation. Okay. Now let us look at a little bit of details. So what they are saying is that uh, self ret uh, rack retrieves passages on demand, basically retrieves passages on demand. Okay, can retrieve multiple times during generation or completely skip retrieval generates and reflects on retrieved passages and its own generation using something called reflection tokens. Okay. Now based on the reflection tokens, the critique model, this is these are the reflection tokens relevant, supported, irrelevant, relevant, partially, right? Based on these tokens and the critique model, will then say which is the best segment over here. Okay, that is the idea. So, uh, generating reflection tokens makes the language model uh, controllable during the inference phase. That is the idea. Okay, 
So self rack uh, 7 billion and 13 billion parameter models outperform state of art LLMs and retrieval augmented models like chat GPT and Llama 2 chat on open domain question answering reasoning and fact verification tasks. Okay. That is what they are saying over here. Okay. So what does this model framework consists of? Okay. So it consists of this self reflection tokens. Now, what is the self re uh, reflection token? So at every segment, okay, for every sentence or a segment, self rag can, you know, have retrieve, okay, self rag first decodes a retrieval token to evaluate the utility of retrieval and control a retrieval component. Okay, if retrieval is required, the language model calls an external retrieval module to find top relevant documents using input query and previous generation. It has a generate also. If retrieval is not required, the model predicts the next output segment. It is just a standard language model over here. Okay. If retrieval is needed, model first generates critique token evaluating whether retrieved documents are relevant and then generate continuation conditioned on the retrieved passages. Okay. Then you have this critique token which if retrieval is required, the model further evaluates if passages support generation. Finally, a new critic token evaluates the overall utility of the response. So here they have the tokens. Okay. The, and uh, they show the different types of reflection tokens that are added to self rack vocabulary during training. One is retrieve. Okay. So if you look at this X, X, Y is that uh, X stands for your input. Y stands for your output. Okay. D stands for passage over here. Okay. Uh, D stands for a relevant passage. So retrieve is given an input X. And output y is generated right now whether you need to retrieve further information okay then you have these tokens which are your critique tokens like is relevant whether this paragraph d is relevant or irrelevant to extracted paragraph is uh, relevant or irrelevant for solving x your input okay is supported is supported okay which is fully supported partially supported no support all of the verification worthy statements output when y is supported by this passage D. That is what is this is a critic token. Okay, is use is again whether it is useful. Whether Y, which has been generated output, is useful response to X. So these are called as critic tokens. Okay. So how did they train uh, self rag? So it consists of three models: a retriever, a critic, and a generator. Okay. What is the job of retriever? Retriever uh, retrieves information from your corpus, right, or from your passage uh, like documents, right. Uh, so the first step is uh, you train the critique and augment diverse in instruction output data with retrieved passages by the retriever as well as reflection tokens. Okay. Then you train the generator language model using a standard next token prediction objective to learn to generate natural continuation as well as special tokens to retrieve or critique its own generations. So these are the two steps. Okay. Um, so there are three models, retriever, critic and a generator. Okay. Right. So first you need to train the critic and augment. Basically, uh, you have to augment this instruction, uh, what you call output data with retrieved passages by the retriever. Okay. So here they are showing it over here. Right. So for example, if this input is how did the US states get their names? Okay. So one out of 50 states names comes from persons. For instance, Louisiana was named in this thing. So the critic LM uh, will be trained on this augmented output. Okay, where first is retrieve and then this statement is retrieved, right? And then it says this is relevant. Okay, so this relevant token comes over here, right? And 11 out of 50 states name comes from person, so supported. This is also a critique token. Now, based on this critique tokens which are present, this uh, critique LM should say, based, based on this input, it should say whether, you know, critique LM will give these tokens, right? Now, when this is fed to your LM again, okay, generator LM, it will be able to generate your output. That is the idea. So for inference, what is done is that inference of self rag by learning to generate reflection tokens, self rag enables to tailor model behaviors for diverse downstream tasks, in particular for adaptive retrieval with retrieval tokens. So prior work, it retrieves passages only fixed times. Okay. Uh, during generation, it struggles to balance trade off between quality and efficiency. With self rag, it learns to generate these retrieval tokens to adaptively retrieve. Okay. And you can also change frequency based on their soft constraints using probability of retrieval tokens. Okay. 
And you can also do something called tree coding with critique tokens. So self frag introduce multiple fine grained critique tokens evaluating different aspects of this generation quality. Okay, we can conduct segment level beam search using linear interpolation of desirable critique token pro probability to identify k best continuations at every time step. So that is the idea. Okay, so with the probability of these uh, tokens which have been generated. You can actually see whether this is really relevant, useful. You can weigh these tokens and then you can further generate multiple times to get best output. Or you can probably identify the K best continuations at every time step. Okay. So that is the idea over here. Okay. So they have combined two techniques. One is retrieval augmented generation and learning from critique feedback, like learning methods like our uh, what you call reinforcement learning uh, with human feedback or methods like your uh, previous uh, other methods, alternatives to RLHF like DPO methods and things like that. Okay, direct preference optimization methods and things like that. Okay. So uh, from the results, what they're saying is that this particular model performs better than or outperforms chat GPT or Lama 2 chat across six tasks and outperforms those SOTA models with widely retrieval augmented methods in most tasks by large margin. That is what they are claiming over here. Okay, uh, so this is retrieval Lama 2, retrieval chat GPT 2. Okay, that's what they are showing over here. Right, this is LMs with proprietary data, baselines without retrieval, baselines with retrieval. If you see over here with retrieval, uh, this self rack performs better than say Lama or uh, even chat GPT. Okay, that's what they claim over here. So this is an interesting approach of uh, the language model learning itself to actually you know uh, reflect on the outputs and then even criticize it you know critique it and then select the best response okay from a set of parallel uh, retrieval augmented generations okay so that is the idea over here uh, they have actually released a paper uh, explaining these techniques. Uh, they have also released the model on hugging face. You can also try it out. What they say is that you can try out with this VLLM inference framework because it supports faster inference. So they have the code present over here. Maybe in a video, I'll try it out and see how it works in another video. But for the moment, uh, this is about self rack. Okay, I hope this video is useful uh, to you. I will put the links to this particular uh, web page as well as the paper and the models. You can check it out. I hope the video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.